Let me introduce you to the brand new Taytools cabinet scraper preparation kit. I, I believe this kit is actually the most cost effective way and the most effective way to prepare a cabinet scraper. I know there's a million ways to prepare a scraper, but I think this is actually worth noting. So, um, and also watch this video to the very end and I'll show you all this, this whole kit in action. So I'm just gonna go through the parts, show you what's in it and show you how to make a couple of the things and then I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how it works in action. So when you open it up, you get, um, first of all, you get a, a kit, a hardware kit to make a scraper vise. It's a super useful item to when you're preparing that. The edges of a cabinet scraper, it's just like a, a little, it's just two woods that sandwich together and hold the scraper so that it's 90 degrees, um, the edge is 90 degrees to the face and it really helps with filing and also honing. So you get the, you get the hardware to do that and I'll show you how to make that. You get um, two pieces of 80, 80 micron lapping film, which is pretty rough. And you get two pieces of the 40 micron lapping film, which is very fine. Um, you get a file, you get an eight inch, like a mill file that will take, you know, help you prepare the initial edge of a scraper. And also, if you need to remove a burr and create a new burr, this is great for doing that. You get a piece of float glass to attach the lapping film for. It's a 5 16 inch piece of float glass and a little non-slip pad. And then you get two rulers, which are useful for setting the protrusion of the scraper out of the vise and also for doing the ruler trick. And you get four rare earth magnets for making a little magnetic handle. So let me show you, um, first of all, how to make the scraper vise. Like I said, it's just two pieces of wood sandwiched together. It's got a two inch, couple two-inch carriage bolts, two wing nuts, and two washers. So what I do is I cut two pieces of wood, seven and a quarter inches long, and then I... Uh, this is between two inches and one and three quarter and two inches wide. It doesn't really matter. Just something like that. And then I'll take my two pieces and I'll put a piece of double-sided tape on them. I'll place them on a flat surface and I will hold them so they're together well. And I'll pinch them together so now they're, they're nice and parallel. Then I'll mark in a half an inch from the end, from each end, centered, and I'll drill a quarter inch hole all the way through. And I'll separate the pieces in one half, one jaw, I will enlarge the holes by 1 64th of an inch. What that does is this allows this jaw to move in and out. So then you can place a scraper in there and tighten it down, and this thing holds a scraper so well when you're doing the initial filing or the honing. Now, if you don't have a vise, you can actually make a scraper vise so that you can clamp it to the edge of your table. You don't need a vise. Like this here, I have a couple of tabs on here, and I can actually place this on my, my bench here and use a couple F clamps and hold it down, and it works great for, for the initial vise. So you don't even need to have a bench vise. Or if you want, you can actually make another version where you just add another, you actually add an inch to the length of the vise on each side. And then I can actually use it now with my match fit clamp or a track saw clamp. And I can hold it to the edge of my bench. So the scraper vise can actually eliminate the need for a more expensive bench vise. So then you'll need to make this little magnetic handle, this handle that you used to push the scraper flat, the face down on the lapping film when you're when you're honing it. And so what comes with the kit are four quarter inch by half inch magnets, rare earth magnets. So the trick is to drill a six millimeter hole. This is a piece of wood five inches long, half inch thick, three quarter of an inch wide. Now I can just take these little magnets and I can wedge them in there and they press fit into really nice. I can just press fit them in here. And then I can just take this and just push it down on my bench until the magnets are all in. And they're not coming out and you don't have to glue them. So now you have this really great handle that you can use to push down on the face of a scraper while you're doing the faces. So there you have it. All the parts you need to prepare a cabinet scraper, what I believe is the most cost-effective method available today, available from Taytools.com. Remember, stick to watch the rest of this video and I'll show you it at, in action. Now I'm going to show you how the scraper kit works in real time. So here's all the components of the kit. Here's a scraper vise we made. Um, this is one I made out of ash. We'll be using that. Here's a little magnetic handle that we made. That'll be good. Um, here's a scraper we're gonna use. It's, good. it's brand new, so we gotta prepare it. Here's a piece of glass with lapping film. The 80 micron is on one side, which is rougher. The 40 microns on the back. We got our two rulers placed on the top of the lapping film to help us set the protrusion of the scraper. Got my file. And I have my AccuBur. I'm going to use an AccuBur because I like this burnisher a lot. I used to, my favorite used to be the old Lee Nielsen carbide scraper, but I've grown to love this AccuBur because it's so efficient. Um, so let's start out. First thing you do, take your scraper vise, you open it up, drop your scraper in. 
I set my scraper on these two rulers. Um, and what this does is it helps me get a exact protrusion of the scraper above the vise 20 thousandths. So I can feel it. It's nice and consistent. That's perfect for me. And I'm going to drop that thing in my vise. And I'm going to file it. And basically, you just want to file it till you get fresh steel all the way along. This is a brand new scraper, so I got to take a little bit more off. Okay, got it. So now I, I see fresh steel all the way along. I'm going to take this now to my lapping film, and I am going to flap this until I remove the file marks. This takes a few seconds. I can look down here, and I can see that there are no file marks left. I'm going to flip this thing over to my 40 micron side, and I'm going to hone out those scratches left from the 80 micron film. Once again, doesn't take long. And the scraper vise helps you keep this uh, the honing at a 90 degree to the edge. So now see, it's perfect. There's shine all the way along. It's nice. So now I'm going to take it out of the vise. And I'm going to take my marker here. I'm going to put a little line along the edge. Just right up to the edge. This helps me gauge when, I'm, when I've honed the faces uh, sufficiently. So then I drop that there. Drop a ruler on top of my film here. Take my magnetic handle. And I just do light pressure. And I'm just going to hone this here. So what the ruler does is it lifts it up just slightly so all the pressure is right on the very tip of the scraper, which is what I want. I don't want to hone the whole face. And I go just until I can see that that uh, marker is removed right from the edge. So there we go on that side. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the same. I don't put a lot of pressure on this. You don't need to. If you push too hard, the magnet won't grab quite as well. So then I go see right there, I can see a line right along the edge. So I'm honed all the way to the edge. I've honed the, I've, I've honed the faces, I've honed the edge. Now I need to turn a burr. I'm going to take my AccuBurr. I'm going to use the middle groove, and I've already put a drop of oil on it. And I'm just going to run along the edge two times. Just so I can feel the burr. I can feel the burr. Now, let's see how we did. Piece of blood wood. Pretty hard wood. Check that out. Look at that shavings. That is phenomenal. So here you have it. Cabinet scraper prep kit from Taylor Toolworks. Take a regular scraper and you can prepare it in no time.